What's going on, Canes fans, and probably at least a few Alabama fans that want to come in and troll me on this video. That's perfectly fine, uh, but I think that most of them are gone, guys, so we're, we're probably in the clear and okay. Uh, well, welcome to the late night Coop Can't Sleep video, me reacting to me being on national TV. Now, I want to be fully transparent and upfront with you guys. I haven't seen this yet. I know that seems hard to believe. You're like, Coop, if you were on national TV, there's no way you didn't watch that, bro. I, my life has been so stinking busy that I've just not had the time to. And I couldn't watch it actually when this aired on Saturday morning because I was on the road driving to Atlanta to go watch the Miami-Alabama game. So I've not had the opportunity to see it. I've had a few people send me little snippets of it and little pieces of it, but I've not actually seen the whole thing. I had my wife uh, come in and tell me the timestamp so I would know where to go in the video so that way I didn't actually watch it. So I'm watching this together with you guys, potentially for you even, for the first time, at least the first time together anyways, right? So I got to give you a little bit of a backstory so this makes sense and then we'll get right into it. It's just going to be a super short video and thank you for watching this with me. Uh, I uploaded a Miami versus Alabama diss track last week and I was actually in Florida. I was traveling at the time when I uploaded it. I didn't have access to a computer so all I had was my phone and uh, it got traction pretty quickly over on Twitter. On YouTube, it did okay. Uh, it got ended up with at like 40,000 views roughly by the, the end of the week. But on Twitter, it, it accumulated a little over 1.5 million total views on the tweet and like 140 or 150,000 total full length views on the diss track, meaning people watched it from beginning to end. Uh, but 1.5 million total views on the tweet. Uh, very mixed reactions. Uh, some Canes fans loved it. Some Canes fans didn't like it. Uh, some Alabama fans thought it was funny. Some of them actually liked it. Some of them didn't like it. Uh, I actually had an English professor at the University of Alabama create a, a diss track or a, 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 a poem or I don't know what the heck it was, but he created something and tagged me and fired back at me. And it was honestly just a lot of fun. Uh, it, it really humors me how many Canes fans got upset about it and, and tried to send me mean, hateful DMs and Alabama fans that said they were going to kill me at the game and all this stuff. I ended up on Fox News as well. I ended up in several different newspapers and uh, a couple of different websites and stuff. It was a wild week for me. But uh, the big thing was being on national TV, the Marty and McGee show on SEC Network, 9 a.m. Saturday morning. Uh, by the way, SEC Network, ESPN, uh, do, please do not copyright strike me for this. If there is some kind of issue to me reacting to just a couple minutes of me being on TV, just email me. It's down in the description. Let me know. I can pull it down. It's no problem. But I thought this would be really cool to share this with my community. Please go watch the Marty and McGee show on SEC Network, uh, ESPN. Subscribe to your cable or satellite product. Whatever disclaimer I got to insert, insert it right here. Okay. But anyways... Uh, Miami fans that really just took it way too serious and sent me threats and wanted to beat me up and said that I don't represent the Miami Hurricanes fan base and whatnot. Listen, guys, uh, you have to understand that I am an entertainer. I am a YouTuber. I'm a streamer. Uh, this was something that I did for fun to get both fan bases uh, hyped up, get them talking back and forth with each other. And honestly... I think it was mission accomplished because we created quite a stir, obviously, and uh, it really hyped up the game a lot, whether you liked it or didn't like it, whether you like me or don't like me. And the, the funny thing is, is uh, I don't want you guys to take this in a negative way. I love you guys, uh, but I don't need anyone's approval when I upload content. Uh, I'm doing it because I love doing this and I'm an entertainer. I like making people laugh. Sometimes we're serious, but not all the times. Uh, and I think it's funny that with these diss tracks, people don't seem to know if they're satire or if they're a parody or if they're serious because I really never say one way or another. We're just out here having fun, enjoying life. And so many people just take things way too serious. And it honestly 
just cracks me up because like i said we're out here just having fun but anyways let's hop on over like i said this was on the marty and mcgee show at nine o'clock in the morning i've heard that they poke a little fun at me and i'm just gonna go ahead and let you know i don't care but we're gonna take let's take a look at it <laughs> and let's see so here we go this is legit my first time seeing this whole thing so let's just check it out and see what they said and get positive yardage with his feet is he comfortable, truly comfortable cutting on that injured, formerly injured knee? It's going to be a huge storyline today. And also, Alabama has some really big mean dudes up front. Roof's going to be open at the stadium. They did. Never been open for a they college did. football game. Uh, There's going to be a big old crowd out there today. And I, oh, I Let me tell you, like I said, I went to the game in person. Alabama, we already knew it, but they got some big old boys. All right, so are you familiar with the term diss track? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I might have I might have heard a diss track or two in my time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, some of the, the Alabama fans, like the ones behind us here, they, uh, they they put together a little bit of a Miami diss track. Wait a minute. Uh, my no no no. I I think that he said that backwards. So he said the Alabama fans behind me put together a little bit of a Miami diss track. He got oh whatever he he got that totally wrong, but uh, that's fine. Miami Hurricanes versus Alabama. September 4th is going down in Atlanta. Last year's is national championship ice? team think they got what it takes to beat this orange. With the vanilla ice. Come on. Everybody, that, that was actually the number one go-to for Alabama fans and Miami fans is they said, oh, what do you think, your vanilla ice? Okay, okay. yeah, I wish I had a, da -da I, it, okay. Cool, you got me, I guess. Burn. Uh, but I, I did want to let you guys know. See, I didn't know if they did this or not. We couldn't come to an agreement on the instrumental portion of the song with the music. Uh, so I ended up sending them an acapella version without the music in the background. So it was literally just me talking. There is so much legal paperwork when it comes to these things. They sent me pages and pages of things I had to sign just so I could be in this part of the show so when i told y'all on twitter everybody laughed at me i said espn is in my dms and they said yeah coop you're a clown no espn was in my dms the day that diss track went up i wasn't playing but it's kind of goofy because i there's no music but it is what it is let's back it up just a little bit Miami Hurricanes versus Alabama. September 4th is going down in Atlanta. Last year's is national championship ice? team think they got what it takes to beat this orange and green. That crimson and white is going to put him. up a fight. Look at him. He's getting into it. Get by the end of the night. And if you don't believe, then I can already see <laughs> he likes that you it. and Coach Cooper will just never agree. <laughs> 305 to the 470. Oh, Sellout crowd, the we're going to put on a show. Yeah. Saber might be a legendary man, coach, but flow. I think it's about time Look for him Manny. to finally Don't. choke oh. on this turnover chain and Look this touchdown Manny. ring. Swagged out so much that I can hardly How come Rock breathe. Nation hasn't you, signed him And you yet. know it's true. <laughs> Tied fans in denial. They ain't got okay. I might be showing my age a little bit, and by age, I mean that I'm too young. Maybe. What is Rock Nation? He said, why hasn't Rock Nation signed him yet? I don't get the joke. That went right over my head, and I have no idea what it is. Please let me know. Even cardboard man is cardboard like, man, he likes it. even Cardboard Manny is like, what am I even looking at? I like his turnover chain from down at the Dollar General. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bro, why you got to hit me with the Dollar General turnover chain? Bro. <sighs> Now I see why people were telling me that they were cracking jokes at me and laughing. Man, listen, if you can't laugh at yourself a little bit, I just don't even know what to tell you. Uh, man, you have to understand that I am a full-time YouTuber and Twitch streamer, an online content creator. So for me to be on this stage on national television, I am not trying to boast, guys. Not at all. But what I'm saying is when, that, when that's what your profession is, an opportunity to be on a national stage like this in the spotlight, I don't care if people are poking fun at me. I'm getting the exposure. Sometimes the saying is true when people say any publicity is good publicity. That's not always the case. Uh, but in this scenario... I don't care if they're going to make fun of me. Did they say, hey, Coop, we're going to we're gonna do a segment on our show in the paperwork and, and, and we're going to make fun of you during it? No, it literally just says, you know, lays out all the details of everything and just says, hey, you give us permission and yada, yada. 
and that's it. So I don't actually know what the reactions were going to be whenever I signed that. But it, that is there. You can't put a price tag or a value on that. Whenever you were when, when you're a content creator online and they want to put you on television. You're going to take it. And if if you say no, you wouldn't, then you don't have what it takes to do this kind of job. And you know, and if that's not your thing, if that's not what you want to do, that's fine. But I'm saying if it is and you can't take that, it might not be for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that dude, I'm pretty sure in the 90s he lived in my dorm in Tennessee. Look at that dude. I mean, it really does kind of look like vanilla. No, it's. I, I'm pretty sure that's. I wonder if it's. Look, look, look. Side eye cardboard Manny Diaz. Like, are we really doing this? I wonder right if now? the rag top down so his hair can blow. <laughs> there ain't enough. He even thinks it's ridiculous. Does he feel? Do you feel dissed? I don't think. I don't know. I, don't, I think. I think. Uh, I think there's only one person dissed in this thing. Maybe it's, disinterested. It's the one who did the dissing. <laughs> Hey, right, man. We had us a summer, y'all. Dude, it, it was, it was uh, to get here today, we did some stuff. So that and, must be uh, it. Okay, so it was only like two minutes, man. They didn't even play the whole thing. They, they didn't get to the best part. But it is what it is. But actually, I want to do something real quick. I don't know what Vanilla Ice even looks like. Do I really look like? Bro, I don't look like Vanilla Ice. What are they talking? Hold up, hold up. I guys, I don't see it. I don't see it. Like I'm rocking a flat bill hat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see this part. I see the facial hair on the bottom, but I ain't got the little soul patch thing here. My ears aren't pierced. We got the same color hair. Maybe. May, uh, do you got? Is there a resemblance? Hold on, hold on. You tell me. You tell me in the comment section. Let me. Nah, bro. No way. I ain't seeing it. Anyways, so they, they threw a little bit of shade, definitely. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, it was all in good fun. Y'all just take life way too seriously, man. We we were on national television. I had, I literally, no joke, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It is actually a pretty cool feeling to have your family members text you and call you up and say, did you know you were on TV? I went I went to a, a cookout with some some friends and family that I that there were parts of the family that I had never met before, and uh, they were like, no no joke, I'm not making this up. They were like, were you were, were you the guy on TV? Like it, it is a cool feeling. I'm not gonna lie, it's cool to get recognized. Um, and yeah, I, like I said, I will take it. Uh, I think it was just a wild week. It was a fun ride for me. If you're gonna hop in the comment section and be like, bro, Coop. You're an embarrassment to Canes fans, or Coop, we don't claim you at, in the Miami Hurricanes family. I'm just going to be blunt and real with you guys. I told you I was going to be that way this year. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you think. It doesn't matter. I don't need your approval, bro. I'm just out here having fun, trying to enjoy life, and everybody's always getting their panties in a wad and, and getting all upset over things when we're just trying to in, enjoy life. So I say mission successful we made it up on a big national stage the video got tons of views uh fan bases were going back and forth with each other uh the professor got involved from the university of alabama uh it was just a lot of fun and it made that week so much fun for me having having all these places to do the interviews with and you know all the messages i received and at the game man people were running up and high-fiving me and even the alabama fans were nice man uh probably because they were busy beating our booty so they were in a good mood but uh it, it was really just an awesome week for me other than miami losing let's be real if miami could have got the dub uh it really would have finished it off on a positive high note but it is what it is here we are it's week two at this point but this was just supposed to be a quick little reaction to me reacting to me being on national tv because that's a once in a lifetime opportunity a lot of people said hey Coop, you better enjoy your 15 minutes of fame from that lame diss track. Haters everywhere, man. We are just getting started over here on the Coach Coop YouTube channel. And everybody that's along for the ride, I do appreciate you. I don't want to just make everything about the negative people and give them all the spotlight, all the OGs that have been riding with me for a long time, and everybody who's continuing to hop on and just have fun. We all just love college football, man. And we're just trying to enjoy ourselves. And a lot of times at the end of the day, 
Once again, I'm never trying to boast. I'm not like that. But a lot of times, it ends up being people that are just jealous. It really, truly does. That's what it boils down to. And it, it comes down to that when, let's say, uh, you at your job get a promotion. There's going to be people that are jealous. So you got to watch out. It's just how things work, how things are. Uh, but I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got, but I, I we got so many big plans this season, guys. It's not even funny. I keep telling everybody, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. And then we just keep one up, one up, and one up. And that's always my goal. And that's why I always am a little stressed because I'm always trying to outdo myself. I am my own biggest critic. And that's why I'm not worried about anything that anyone else says because I can't, I, I'm hard enough on myself. Anyways, guys, love all you guys. Remember, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you guys real soon.